this game! Fuck this game! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! <sighs> well, you did it. You bought the DVD. Good for you. I guess that means we have to give you something a little extra, don't we? How about a review? Yes, we all enjoy reviews, don't we? Now, what should it be? Mmm, I know. How about a video game that really pisses me the fuck off? Because that's all you want to see, isn't it? You just want to see me be angry. Dance, monkey, dance! <sighs> well, waste no time beating around the bush. Let's just take a look at the game that we humans used to call Blues Brothers. As of nowadays, people like to call it an unholy dick storm of shit cheese! God, this game is awful! The worst thing to be associated with the movie since Blues Brothers 2000! Oh, that's right, I fucking went there! What makes this game so horrible? What makes you want to give yourself testicle surgery with a spatula? Well, I'm sure inquiring minds want to know. Let's take a look at... the Blues Brothers game. First of all, just look at the Blues Brothers. Yeah, they got their basic likeness down, but when did the Blues Brothers fucking smile? Would you think the Blues Brothers were cool if they walked around everywhere like this? <laughs> well, I guess I gotta pick one of these guys, so let's go ahead and pick Elwood. Rock, 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 rock and roll. Really? That's his battle cry? Rock, 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 rock and roll. It sounds like Fozzie Bear if he was trying to go all metal. Waka, 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 waka and roll. So as you can see, we begin with stage one, and... Oh yeah. Oh, this is exactly like the fucking movie. Yeah, with the spikes, the rotating platforms, and being set in the fucking forest. It's literally like watching the film! Oh, look at that. Giant killer bees. Remember that from the movie? Oh hey, a giant spiky ball on a chain. Remember that from the movie? What part of Chicago do you think this is supposed to be? Millennium Park? Hell, they got faces that shoot water at you and it's not as strange as this shit. Let's see, you gotta get to a jukebox and... What, that's it? That's the end of the level? That's like the shortest stage I ever played. Look, the clock starts off at 99 seconds, and I finish at 84. That's 15 seconds! 15 seconds! The time it takes to put the game in the system takes longer than that! Okay, so after defeating that epic first stage, you move on to the second stage, where you fight... Possessed Killer Lawnmowers. What exactly is the story of this game, anyway? I mean, it doesn't give you a backstory, it just sort of tosses you in the middle of everything. I'm gonna check the instruction book, because I gotta know what kind of story has a possessed killer lawnmower in it. Oh, okay. The Blues Brothers are back to play the blues. On their way to their first concert, first concert, yeah, because they're a little known startup band. They encounter a jukebox and decide to listen to some good music. But as soon as they approach it, they get trapped by the evil machine. Finding a way out will take the Blues Brothers through the sewers, warehouses, and the suburbs of many large cities. Okay, are they in the jukebox or are they in the city? Because I don't know that many cities that have spikes on the ground and possess killer lawnmowers! Okay, well, maybe parts of Cicero, but even then that's a big stretch! Can Jake and Elwood escape the hungry jukebox and reach Chicago in time for the greatest concert of all time? Not if they keep feeding us this bullshit story! Okay, so the idea of each level is to reach the jukebox before the time runs out. Which almost never happens, because each level is, like, a minute long at most. How do we even get it? You're in a jukebox, but there's a jukebox inside the jukebox? How are you gonna get outside the jukebox if you keep going inside the jukebox? Oh well, your main weapon is a bunch of records you collect to throw at enemies. Yeah, it's like that Aerosmith game, Revolution X. Where music's the weapon! Don't give up! I wouldn't mind so much, except they always make this obnoxious sound every time you collect a record. It sounds like someone hit Sam Kinison in the balls every time you get one of those. If you eat one of these cakes, you suddenly become Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'm sure he'd be happy to know that this game is encouraging that eating sweets turns you into a muscle builder. You jump on mushrooms, throw records and shit, but there's a lot of things about this game that don't make sense. I know, imagine, but I'm talking about the gameplay itself. For example, when you start off the game, you have a hundred of these records to throw, which makes it kind of pointless to collect more for the 15 seconds of gameplay you have, but whatever. I start the next level, and then suddenly I'm down to 50. What the hell? Where the rest of my records go? Okay, whatever. I still got 50 and a ton more to collect. That still ain't bad. 
Look at all these I'm getting at the end of this level. I'm gonna have plenty in the next one. What the fuck? You stole all my records, you fucktard! Why? You gave them to me before! Why the hell did you give me all those records at the end of the last level if you're just gonna take them away anyway? What do you think I'm gonna do with those records before I end the friggin' level? You think I'm gonna listen to them? That, that would actually make sense, but you're not allowed to! So it's entirely pointless! Oh, and just to make things more annoying, remember when they handed these things out like candy before you couldn't get enough of them? In this level, they don't give you any until halfway through. You have no control over how many of these you can keep. You're totally at the mercy of the crazy programmers who randomly decide when you can defend yourself or not. And that wouldn't be too bad if, you know, the fucking controls were easy to use. First of all, every floor in this game is like ice. Look how much you slide every time you try to stop. You have to account for that every time you jump a platform. And sometimes they don't even give you time to adjust. Just when you thank God that you finally didn't slip off and die. Whoop! Down you go, fucker! Damn it! What, did he go skating in butter before he started this magical fuck quest? And the second thing is the chains. These fucking goddamn chains. Now I know what you're thinking. What's so hard about climbing a chain? All you have to do is push up, right? No, you have to be at the exact point to climb these things. You have to push up at the exact moment you hit that chain. Not a second later or a second earlier. And even then, just like the floors, you can easily slip off. Who designed it that way? If I want to go up, just let me go friggin' up! You know, what the fuck kind of factory is this, anyway? All they ever see in this place is fucking chains and boxes. They're really putting up electric shocks to protect chains and boxes? Priorities in this magical jukebox world are pretty fucked up. God, my balls shrivel up every time I see one of those chains. Look how close I was to falling off there. It's like they're trying to give you wiggle room to move around on the chain. Where the hell am I gonna want to go except for up or down? Damn it! Damn it! Fucking chains! Kids, do yourself a favor. Find somebody that works in a chain factory and punch him. Don't explain why. Don't even introduce yourself. Just punch him in the fucking face. God knows they want to keep you in these factories long enough. This has got to be like the ninth level I've come across that's a factory. Maybe they want you to get a job there. Look at this level. They give you less time than usual. God, this one must go by real fast. Come on, you fucking dog. Move! I only have 16 seconds! <laughs> Fuck! I swear this game is a sadist of expectations. It gives you a bunch of time, it takes it away. It gives you a bunch of records, it takes it away. We're the Puppet Masters, dance, puppet dance, oh, 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 oh. God, why would they give you such little time when part of it is just waiting for these fucking dogs to move? <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care, I'm gonna just accept my fate. Hey, it's better than giving them the satisfaction of thinking I give a crap. Which of course I don't. That's why I'm so fucking calm! So after you finally get past that level, you get to go outside the factory. It's still the factory, but fuck it, at least you're outside. Then after that, you go into another forest. Well, good, maybe we're finally moving away from that whole fucking factory thing. God damn it! I am so sick of this place! When they close down these factories due to safety hazards? And what's this thing, a flying snake? Yeah, why not? I wouldn't expect anything else out of an everyday factory in an everyday magic jukebox. So what the hell am I supposed to do with it? It just sort of nudges me, it doesn't really kill me. I guess I can grab it, but when I throw it, it just comes back again. Oh, I ride it! Okay, this should be a lot of fun, I and mean, it's kind of a cool idea. Oh, fuck you! If I touch anything, I fall?! What a load of bitch! Okay, this wouldn't be too bad, it really wouldn't, except... Look at it! I mean, this is me when I'm keeping it still! It's always moving! It's incredibly hard to control! Everywhere I go, it tries to fight me or knock me off! It literally tries to head towards the nearest platform to make you fall! And... Look at this shit I gotta maneuver through! Are you fucking kidding me?! Shit! 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 Hold still, you little ass goblin! Shit! This thing is impossible! It's honest to god like trying to ride a real fucking dragon! I guess I should congratulate the game for trying to be true to life, except that it's a fucking flying dragon! Cut me some slack! Okay, easy. Easy. God damn it! Easy. God! 
Oh, I like this. Obviously, there's no way to get on him without touching some sort of platform. So either way, I'm dead. It's really a shame that this thing is fucking allergic to walls. <laughs> yeah, come on. I don't like this any more than you do, bitch Astorius. Just come on! God! I can't believe how long this is taking. It'd be easier just to find a real snake and actually make him fly. What the hell is this thing anyway? Let me see if it says in the instruction book. Snake, a friendly creature. You can jump on its back and control it. Does that thing look remotely friendly to you? Does it act like it's friendly? If it's so friendly, how come he's always trying to knock me off and push me down every chance he gets? Duh! Oh, hey. Duh! Damn it! Oh, what? He pushed me. He fucking pushed me! Friendly creature, my ass! Nothing in this game is friendly! This is shit! It's all shit! One big stinking fucking pile of fuck shit! Oh, concert over? I'll say it is! I'm sorry, I couldn't review any more of that shit. I mean, that game is terrible. That is a god-awful game. It has nothing to do with the movie. The floors are made of Crisco. The controls are insane. And it's terrible. It's a terrible, terrible game. And I pity the poor sucker that comes across that game and tries to play it. Oh my god, a video game. Blue S, brothers. Must be French. I'm a nostalgia critic, and God have mercy on his soul. Oh my god! Cake makes you stronger? I, I don't understand that. Wow, the floor sure is slippery, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be getting out of the jukebox! Okay, just go up the chain there, guy. <laughs> Come on, go up the chain. Go up the chain! Oh, look, a flying snake! Hello, flying snake, how are you? He pushed me! That's it, I've had enough of this game! I'm tossing this so some other idiot can find it! Oi, what's this?